Hello guys, uh, it's me Mariam Ken. <clears throat> Today we are coming to the um, to the farm, one of the main farm here in Diani. Yeah, guys, thank you very much for subscribing me always, watching my videos always. Yes, thank you very much, and always do as you do. Today we have come to the um, to the farm one of the farm in Idiani they have a lot of things here uh, they have goats they have a uh, it's a big farm they have so many things they plant a lot of things first we are coming here to the goats oh my god <laughs> okay mm -hmm. oh yeah, that uh, you don't want them to go out. Okay, this is called uh, the, the owner of the goats is there. Please, can you introduce yourself, please? Yes. Hmm. Oh, okay. How long have you been uh, taking care of this, these uh, goats? Over 10 years. <clears throat> Over 10 years. Yeah. Oh. So now, is that, a, uh, I think it's a very good breed, mm, you can yeah, see. Yeah. Where did you get that breed? Because it's from Somalia. Oh, Somalia. Oh, I think, yeah, the Somalians are, they are the best yeah. people who are having good, good, good quality yeah. of, of goats. Yeah, you can look like Somalia. This one. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So so nice guys i think you can see how they are looking they are looking very healthy do you normally spray them all yeah we spray them uh, mm. fortnightly how long a after week weeks. After, uh, weeks. after two weeks then you spray. you spray them yeah. okay they look healthy guys i think you can watch okay Kind of, do you have also other things which you you are doing in this farm? Maybe chicken. Chicken. You do also farming. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So guys, we are here in Charming Mountains farm. They have a big yard uh, whereby they planted also they planted also maize. And this is how maize is. It's quite big farm. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is how the farm of maize is looking. Wow, well, it has a disease. Maize has already come. As you see, it's quite big. But, um, Martin, why, why is the maze having ash? The ash, why is it like this? So it's having ash because at times chemicals are very expensive. Mm. So when you apply ash, mm -hmm. it prevents those worms that uh, destroy uh, the, the maize. Oh, okay. During, during flowers. <coughs> okay, it sounds so nice. So now, if the guys, if you don't have the the chemicals, you can use the ash. Yeah. I think everybody knows ash. Yeah. And there is uh, also plain sand. You yeah. told me the plain sand. Yeah, sand. Uh, okay, actually. From the dry. ocean, from the no, lake, no, from the no, river. No, no, no. Sand. Ordinary sand. Yeah, especially when it is dry. Okay. Uh, uh, it prevents them from breeding. Okay. Yeah. So can you also use the ash on the on the tomatoes? Because I see you have planted yeah, the tomatoes. Yeah, yeah, if ash, you have not put the ash, chemical. Ash, uh, ash is multi-purpose. Oh, okay. Because as you see, as you know, ash. Mm. Uh, Okay, uh, we, we use different trees. Mm. Some trees are medicine, you know? Mm. So 
when you use uh, when you apply ash mm. it also prevents some uh, some worms mm. and uh, insects that uh, attack the, 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 okay the crops, the, the crops. Oh, okay so that's what we normally do. okay okay so now you're going to spray yeah. you're so busy spraying oh. wow Oh, guys, is I'm also here. Yes, that way, very worse. Wow, you've planted a very big farm, yeah. guys. I think you can see yeah. she has planted a lot of things here. Oh. How big is this land, by the way? Oh, the whole land? Yes. The whole land is five acres. Five acres. Mm -hmm. You have tried a lot. So now you have planted the tomatoes on how, how many acres? The tomato, we have planted about half an acre. Half an acre. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I wish you all the best because I see they are very healthy. The tomatoes, they are very healthy. Wow, I think it has a lot of processing. After spraying, what are you going to do then? Yeah. Is there anything you do after spraying? Okay, after spraying, we are supposed to weed. You are supposed to weed. Uh, those tomatoes, the tomatoes are supposed to, uh, I mean, they don't, they don't require, okay, they are supposed to be clean. The, the surface That's a, they is they don't. supposed to be clean. Okay. Yeah. Wow, then you, I can see a bed here. Yeah, what is for, this bed? Nursery bed. Yeah, nursery bed. Mm. Muchicha. 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 Oh, muchicha. Muchicha. Okay. Muchicha. We yeah. call it dodo in our dodo, language, guys. Dodo. Oh, uh, yeah, in our and, language. Uh, oh, school. Because people really like this. Muchicha. Oh, okay. Like this. For, for us in our country, we don't have the bed, the nursery bed for dodo because it is naturally, it comes itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so it is very different from Kenya also. Okay. okay. Wow. Thank you, Martin. What do you say about the people who are watching you? Who are watching you? Yeah, what I can tell them. Mm. Uh, okay. I enjoy farming. Mm. Although we have some challenges. Yes. Those challenges in Kenya mm. is actually uh, capital because chemicals are now very, very expensive. Yes, I understand for example, you. For example, uh, a, 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 a bottle that used to, to cost 500 is mm. now 1,900. Oh so my actually, God. Our main challenge is mm. fertilizer mm. and chemicals are very, very expensive. expensive. Yeah. So okay. that's the main challenge we're having. Oh. So weather is also another challenge whereby mm. uh, we have to pump water. And as you know, electricity, electricity. is also, also expensive. Yes, so I understand. Farming has become very And the Mombasa is hot. hot. Oh so my without, God. Without pumping, without no. pumping more, uh, without irrigation actually. Yes. So you cannot make it in Mombasa. Yes. Yes. So farming, Okay, irrigation and farming uh, put together is very expensive. It makes farming very expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's, a, that's a main challenge we are having in Kenya. In Kenya. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, guys, I think over there you have had the challenges when you start farming in Kenya. Mombasa especially, you should know yeah, all that. Is a must. Yeah, irrigation is a must. Yeah. Wow, we have to be having enough chemicals always you have to be having enough chemicals because in Mombasa is very hot and there are so many um, uh, small insects which destroy the crops well, as you have seen the, the maize before they use ash because they don't have uh, chemicals they, they try yeah you they try to minimize the, the medicine the chemicals so they use ash um, guys Thank you always for watching my videos and put a sweet comment on, the, on my video um, um, and always like the farming. It doesn't care how where you are. You can even farm on the, on the veranda. 
you can farm even in a tins. You correct your tins, you put in your shed. You plant tomatoes, you plant maize. Yes, we should be active because the world is dot com. We have to be working so hard. That is what I have to tell you. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Um, share the video to those who have not reached. To, for those who have not got, who have not got this video, share to them, and have a lovely day. Bye bye. You are true.